Welcome to BizPRAC. In this video, we're going to be exploring how you would receive money from a debtor against an invoice that you have sent them. First, let's go to the Receipts window. From this window, we will click on Create Receipt from Invoices at the bottom. Here, where we select the debtor that we're receiving the money from, in this case, we're going to choose John Smith. We're going to put an amount of $40,000 in there because we already know how much we've received. I'm going to let the BizPrac automatically allocate the funds by the invoice date at this time. We'll use the today's date and the description we're going to use is payment of invoice. When I click the OK button, BizPrac opens a window showing us all of the outstanding invoices for John Smith. Because of the options I've selected in the previous screen, BizPrac has already allocated $40,000 against the outstanding amount on the first invoice. In this case, I have nothing to do except click Create Receipt Now. And BizPrac creates the cash receipt for us for the debtor, John Smith. That's how easy it is to create your receipt from your debtor. I'm going to create another receipt for John Smith. So I'll select John. This time I'll put in $500. I won't let BizPack automatically allocate the funds. My description again is going to be payment of invoice. When I click OK, BizPack has not allocated anything. It's leaving me to choose which invoice or combination of invoices to which I wish to allocate the money. In this case, if I choose to allocate the money against this invoice, I highlight the invoice and click Pay Highlighted. BizPrac automatically allocates the full amount of the money because it matches what's outstanding on the invoice itself and leaves us still to allocate nothing. Again, all I have to do at this point is to click on Create Receipt Now to create my cash receipt. And when BizPrac creates a receipt from a debtor invoice, it links it to the invoice itself. So if I highlight that cash receipt and go to Utilities, I can click on Show or Display Debtor Invoices for Highlighted Entry. That shows me the invoice, invoice date, it was from a debtor, John Smith, invoice number, and the amount of the invoice and the receipt amount. Again, I'm going to create a cash receipt, again for John Smith. This time, I'm going to put in $45,000. I'm going to allocate the funds manually. My description again will be payment of invoice. But all of these invoices are far more than $45,000. All I need to do to, out, to pay them is click on Pay Highlighted. It will allocate only the amount that I've selected to receive now. Or I can clear that amount and I can part pay this invoice. So I can part pay the highlighted one for say $20,000. Close. I have 25000 still to allocate. So all, if I want to allocate against this invoice here, I highlight it and click on Pay Highlighted, which will put the rest of the outstanding money against that invoice. It's very simple to do and very flexible. You can modify any of these payments as you're going through to make sure you get it correct. So for instance, if that's not the one you want to allocate the money to, you click Clear Highlighted and pick another invoice and pay highlighted. If we look at part pay, we'll see that the part pay comes through here into this section of the invoice as well. All I have to do now to create that cash receipt is click on Create Receipt Now. 
creates a receipt for $45,000. Again, if I go to Utilities and look at Display Debtor Invoices for Highlighted Entry, it shows me the two individual invoices that have been paid and the amounts that have been paid on them. Now sometimes a debtor will pay you more than you've invoiced them for. In this case we're going to create another receipt. This time I'm going to select Stephanie Roll and she has sent us $40,000. I won't automatically allocate the funds. Again, I'll select Payment of Invoice and click OK. Now we see here that Stephanie's invoice is only for $32,896.48, far less than the $40,000 we've received. So what we do here is firstly we'll highlight that invoice and we'll click Pay Highlighted. We've still got an amount to allocate, an outstanding amount of $7,103.52. In this case, it's an overpayment, so we click this option. And then we need to select the job for it. That's our job for Stephanie. We'll click Select. This is to make sure that the receipt itself is allocated to a job. All we have to do now is click Create Receipt Now, and the receipt is created. Now, when BizPrac creates receipts for your debtors, it automatically allocates them to the same job the invoice is allocated to. So if we highlight this one from John Smith and click View, we see that there are two separate invoices. In this case, they've both gone to the same job. But BizPrac will put two lines in here just to be on the safe side and to be sure that it goes to the correct job. We'll close this window. If we look at Stephanie's, We'll see again we've got two different lines on the invoice because firstly the first line was paid to one invoice, the second line was not paid to an invoice at all but still goes to the job.